Hello, and welcome to the very first episode of Lock Picking with Nick. I'm Nick, and today what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and pick this practice lock for the very first time. During quarantine, I decided that I wanted to pick up a new hobby, and after searching the internet for some, something new to learn, I decided I was going to try and learn how to pick locks. So I went on to Amazon, and I picked up this practice lock, and I also picked up this 24-piece GoSo lock pits lock picking set. It comes with a bunch of different hooks, and as you can see, they are numbered 1 through 24. I don't think that really matters because most of these hooks look like they are the same width. And other than a little bit of difference, um, no, it actually looks like all the hooks are the same. So I don't know how much of a difference having 24 will make. But it also comes with one, two, three, four different tensioning tools. I'm assuming these are different types of rakes, and I'm guessing these are for car locks and car doors. And I'm assuming this one goes into the dust cover for the car door lock. I could be wrong, but I'm, I guess we'll find out. So for this practice lock, I think I'm going to use this first Z bar. And we'll just start with the number one hook. Now, I've watched a lot of lock picking videos, so hopefully that transfers over into actual skill. And because I am learning, why not time myself? So we're going to hit start and let's get into it. So I think the best place to put this Z bar would be right at the bottom. And then we'll see if I can tension this properly. I don't know if it's best to start at the back or the front. Well, I guess we'll start at the front one. reset that because that didn't feel right now I don't know if it's a good thing that I'm trying to learn how to pick locks with a microphone in my face and a camera right in front of me and I have to reach around both but I guess we'll learn my tension so I guess I'll have to start again two three is really tight hmm. now what am I doing wrong here so I'll put that there Oh, there we go. Okay, and that took me 2 minutes and 14 seconds to pick my very first lock. Which I'm actually pleasantly surprised. So we'll lock it back up. And let's try one of the rakes. Let's try with... In this set, it's number 10. Kind of looks like... I think it's called a snowman. Or a half snowman. So we'll reset the clock. And we'll reset this. And start. Oh. 
Oh, there we go. And that one, I think it took seven seconds, but it took me a while to hit the stop on it. So that one was actually, well, let's try that again. Cause I don't know if that was just luck. But go there. And again, 10 seconds. Almost 11 seconds, but it's okay. And there's an, one more tool that I want to try. It's this one. I'm not sure what the actual name for it would be. Maybe someone can tell me in the bottom. So we'll go ahead, we'll reset the clock. Put in the tension bar and start. felt like it was undone or unlocked and then I lost the tension oh there we go stop that one took 17 seconds but I think I can do it faster because I lost the tension on it so we'll get set up here again and we'll hit start That one took 6.9 for me to hit the stop, but I think I actually unlocked it in five seconds, which is sweet. I did not expect to be unlocking them this fast. Maybe that's because this is such a cheap lock and it is a practice lock. But anyways, I guess this will be the end of episode one. Thank you for watching. If you would like to follow me along Follow along with me on my journey to learn lockpicking. I'd love to have you.